Okay, just outside of Budapest, Hungary, and last night I got to do something that was pretty cool. I got to stay tonight in a castle. Um, it has been remodeled, and sections of it obviously rebuilt over time, but yeah, it's a pretty lovely place. I'm going to walk over here to the courtyard. But yeah, it's got some beautiful gardens. Stone wall. Uh, dragons. But yeah, it's a very beautiful place. Um, the hotel rooms are in that building right there. And then this building right here is a big banquet hall room. Um, I could definitely see them having events such as uh, special occasions and uh, weddings. They go well over there. This little stream over here. But yeah, lovely grounds and yeah, lovely place. Read Hungarian, but uh, shows some significant activities and events that have occurred here, and it's kind of cool. Uh, again, even though I can't read Hungarian, it still shows me different famous people and different activities happen here then they kind of it's now I guess this is the guy that built it uh, things that he did in his life I guess that's the guy right there Kleibel's but in here is like a banquet room. This is the courtyard and the main building. And then I'm staying in a room that's right up there. Yeah, that's a pretty cool, pretty cool experience. Okay, so there is a bunch of construction up there. So the Citadel is closed because they're renovating and rebuilding it. But from this viewpoint here, we can see the Danube and a couple of the bridges. So I believe that first one is the Chain Bridge. And I believe that's Buddha Castle right there. And over there we can see the Ferris wheel. All right, so the Citadel is um, being renewed. So it's closed because of construction. But it's going to hopefully look a lot nicer when it's all said and done. Here in Budapest, and if you're in this area of Europe, something you gotta try. And that's a uh, chimney cake. They come with different uh, coatings and but yeah, you gotta try chimney cake. Got this food vendor here. We got stuff from different animals. Ooh, get the light storm out. This is St. Stephen's uh, Basilica. Cool little Latin statement. Let's zoom in. 
Ego sum via veritas et vita. I am the way, truth, and life for life. All right, here at the banks of the Danube, and we have one of their bridges. One of the more solemn sites here in Budapest, Hungary, is uh, right along the Danube River, the banks of it, and it's the shoes. And it's in the memorial, memorial for all the Jewish people that lost their lives due to being massacred or firing squads here. You can look goes down all the way down there. A lot of people brought candles and flowers and flags. And it's memorials like these that we should always remind ourselves of the atrocities of what what happens when good men do nothing. This is the Budapest Parliament. Of course, you need to do like a river cruise or be on the other side of the Danube River to see the whole uh, side of the building, which is very picturesque. Very ornate. Let's just zoom in a little bit to the architecture. All right, Budapest had a look at the top burger places and this was in the top five. Uh, actually, it was, there was a particular burger on this one that was highly recommended on uh, Reddit. Here's their menu. Uh, this one right here actually is very unique. It's a duck burger. I spoke to the owner and he says it's his mother's recipe and they cooked the duck for over six hours. And there's what a picture of what it looks like. But all their burgers look delicious. Uh, so I'll be just trying a cheeseburger and a duck burger today here at the Lucky seven burgers and more. Okay, so this is the duck burger. See it cooked, looks delicious. And I also have a cheeseburger here. So let's get let's try them both. Cheeseburger first, always first. Duck burger time. I say this is something special. Never had a duck burger before, but I'd say this is great. Best thing on the menu. Great decor in here. A lot of American movies on the wall. Okay, so burger was all right not Shake Shack it's hard to measure up to Shake Shack but the one unique thing on this menu that you absolutely have to try when you come to Budapest is the duck burger the guy I met the owner when I first walked up and he told me that the duck burger is unique it's his mother's recipe and they cooked the thing for over six hours it was tender just melts in your mouth delicious duck burger lucky seven check it AI burger. Earlier today I was at the Shoes on the Danube. I uh, said so there's things that we should not forget. That this guy did. So he saved a lot of folks. Kind of like a, a Schindler's List kind of guy. So that's been my day in Budapest, Hungary. Didn't really have a great day. First time I ever came here I had a really great time. But yeah. 
Gonna head on out uh, to Slovakia, to Bratislava. Go check it out. Anyhow, that's been my day in Budapest, and that has been formerly me. So that's been my day in uh, Budapest, Hungary. Got to go see a couple of the buildings. It's been overcast all day. Uh, last time I was here it was like Christmas time. A lot of people were much friendlier then. Today I didn't have a lot of friendly people. There was a few people that liked to see the sombrero, but I had a couple people make some really bad comments. So I really think that the tolerance level for uh, Budapest could go a little higher. But anyhow, but other than that, it's been my day in Budapest, uh, Hungary, and that has been formerly me.